when it comes to the returns of uh, capsicum farming this is a 16 by 32 meters greenhouse which costed me around um, 800,000 to install but when you can see my first harvest I recouped like um, 500,000 uh, exclusive of all the costs the planting, the seedlings, the river force so purely profit about 500,000 My name is uh, Eric Kome currently trading as the Farming and Greens Limited we deal with um, majorly vegetables capsicum, cucumbers, tomatoes uh, spinach, uh, dania, best known as coriander. Initially, when I bought this plot, I wanted to settle here. Um, but I realized there's a gap in the market because we used to buy vegetables like every other day. So I decided um, to major to try my rack in uh, vegetable farming and I majored on uh, tomatoes and capsicum. Um, the reason why I took uh, the route to Capscam initially was of the value. The value not many people do Capscam farming. Um, and the value, the value, the market value of a KNG of a Capscam, especially the current ones, is about 100 to 150. Our major customers are zucchini and beyond fruits so those are the the customers who are within the locality so even transportation cost is cheap i just use my car and drop the, the stuff there as you can see i decided to do to go the greenhouse way other than doing open air um greenhouse is about it's a bit expensive compared to the open air farming but it also has its uh, advantages. Temperature regulations, you maintain the room temperature for the crop, for the crop to, to do well. So I also invest in, in drip system and mulching. As you can see, um, the drip system by itself is um, it's making work easier. You don't have to be there. Only all you have to do is time yourself, um, and that's it. Though you have to invest in a, a water reservoir, uh, like here we have uh, a 10,000 liter tank, which is more than enough for us. Because uh, majorly that is one of the challenges. Without water you can't do nothing. For those who would want to venture into greenhouse farming, um, there is space for everyone. One, you consider the space you have, the, the, the plot where you want to install your greenhouse, and two, the amount of capital you have. Like for me, I decided to do a permanent one. The structure itself is a metal with concrete. This I know I give it like a 10 year lifespan. So I know I will use it for a longer time. But if you don't have that cash, kind of cash or capital, you can start small with the wooden one, which are a bit cheaper. Um, you can also decide not to, to use the mulching paper. You do the work of weeding manually. Because for me, it's, I just want to reduce the work workload on uh, weeding. You can also design you can use drip irrigation or if you can't afford it um, you can you can water your plants manually by watering cans and any other method you think would be cheaper to water the, the crop in terms of our workload the work the, our greenhouse workload i have employed one uh, employee um because we have um, made it easier to work in here 
So, and the, the major, his only work is to regulate the water flow from the tank since we water the plants using the drip system. Um, that's about twice a day. And in terms of spraying, we have an agrom uh, agro uh, agronomist who checks on, um, on the type of diseases, the infestation, and all that kind of stuff. When it comes to the returns of uh, capsicum farming, this is a 16 by 32 meters greenhouse, which costed me around um, 800,000 to install. But when you can see my first harvest, I recouped like um, 500,000, uh, exclusive of all the costs, the planting, the seedlings, the river force. So purely profit about 500,000 and um, bearing in mind how much I spent to install the greenhouse which, is, which I have given a lifespan of 10 years, you can see uh, it's a good venture to, to, uh, to, to farm the capsicum. Also there were some challenges I know I could have made much more because um, it's a learning in terms of diseases. Uh, the timing, the spraying time, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I know if I had known what I know today, this is our second planting. So if I had known what I know today, I hadn't done much of the research in terms of diseases and all that kind of stuff. I know I could have made more. Yeah. Okay. The biggest challenge I faced in terms of pests and diseases. Um, uh, there are insects known as white flies, uh, rendy spider, which mostly attack the capsicum. Initially, I didn't know about them because I hadn't done much of the research. And by the time I realized the infestation was, the, the, the greenhouse was already infested with the, with the insects, the white flies and the rendy spider. Um, there is also a mistake I didn't, I didn't do a soil test at the first before I planted, which was um, which which would have helped me to know which fertilizers I need to use, or whether I need to use any fertilizer at all. Um, but that is something I've rectified, and I don't think I should, any farmer should do a soil test before planting. There's an element of high temperature, as you can feel. There's in the greenhouse, the temperatures are high, um, and sometimes the plant itself is um, cannot withstand the, the high temperatures. So uh, we need to, like what we are planning to do at the moment is to include, to install temperature regulators, uh, solar power and temperature regulators in the greenhouse to now counter the effect of too much sunlight, yeah, and the high temperatures. The reason why I say temperature is because you find most of the plant would wither during the noon time. And at first I thought it's a disease, but I realized even the temperature, even me working that greenhouse, I couldn't work for like an hour without having to walk out for fresh air. Um, because sometimes the temperatures would go like almost um, 40 degrees, and that is too much for a plant. We also have uh, another challenge for rodents, which feed on our live uh, capsicum. Um, as you can see, we are near a, a forest, and that's another challenge we have dealing with rodents like rats and uh, more. For the rodents, we have traps to deal with the, with the rats. Um, 
basically traps. Yes, we, we discourage use, use of chemicals, but we have traps which uh, we set around. My advice to especially the youth who think farming is for their own guys, they should start this thing. They eventually start small and probably they grow big. Because uh, we nowadays have institutions with like fin financiers who can uh, afford to finance you for your farming. Because majorly in Kenya, we don't have many youth who are doing the farming stuff. So there is an opportunity and there is market. Because every family has to feed. So there's ready market. All you need to do is get your products right and decide which which vegetable you want to measure in. Yeah. So there's an opportunity for the youth to venture into farming.